Get ready, Scorpios. I've got exclusive insights and predictions to help you navigate mid-May 2024 like a boss. Did you know that the energy of the cosmos can offer insights into your life? Stay tuned for your Scorpio tarot reading for mid-May 2024. Welcome Scorpios to your tarot reading for mid-May 2024 where we'll explore what the cards have in store for you, okay? Let's see what comes out for you, Scorpio. I hope all is well. Okay, we got a jumper. All right. Coming out first for you, Scorpio, is the Hermit card. Okay, that seems to be your current energies. Okay. Wow, beautiful. All right. <laughs> This is amazing. So what I'm feeling already as, you know, we will uncover as we can, as I continue to shuffle uh, the challenges and obstacles you may face during this time and provide you guidance on how to navigate them, Scorpio, okay? So right now what I'm seeing as a challenge for you is tapping into your higher self. You are challenged with getting quiet. It looks like your challenge is asking for help so that you can get the support and resources you need. Scorpio, it looks like you have a, have a challenge of asking for help. You are resisting. I feel like, Scorpio, you have... You know, you are a do-it-yourself. If you want it done right, you got to do-it-yourself kind of Scorpio, okay? But because this is showing up in your challenge area, it is what spirit needs you to do so that you can move into your power, both inward uh, power that willpower, that self-confidence, and as well as your outward power, how you present yourself to the world. So that is the challenge I'm seeing for you right now, right? Okay, absolutely. One more spirit for our lovely Scorpio. Because I read intuitively, I ask that you take what resonates with you and to leave the rest. One more spirit for our dear Scorpio, if you will, please. I'm going to cut it right there. All right. Beautiful, beautiful outcome. So far, what I'm seeing for you, um, there's nothing you can't do, number one. But resisting uh, asking for help, Scorpio, is not beneficial to you at this time. You are absolutely capable of doing many things, but it feels like for you at this very moment, you do need help in something. You need guidance in something. So we're going to get more from the tarot so we can have a, an understanding and how to help you move forward, Scorpio. So your current energy, right? We're going to delve into the specific tarot cards at this point that have been drawn for you, Scorpio. We're going to analyze the meanings and what I what I feel intuitively and how they relate to your current situation. So showing up as you, Scorpio, your current energy is the hermit card. That's what's coming out for you as your current energy for mid-May 2024, Scorpio, okay? So with this card, I am feeling for you, Scorpio, that you are slowing down a bit because you feel a little stuck um, with this emperor showing up in your challenge or your resistance area. So currently you are slowing down 
with this hermit card. You are trying to get clarification. You are trying to find solutions, right? With the hermit. Hmm. With what I'm seeing, you definitely, um, with this hermit card, you are, there is some um, Virgo in your reading. So Scorpio could be for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. And if you are um, familiar with your birth chart, you may have Virgo somewhere in your placements. Okay, Scorpio. And then we all, you also have some um, Aries in your reading as well with this Emperor card here. So again, it could be somewhere in your placements. Could be cross watchers. This could be for you. Cross watchers are welcome. So right now, Scorpio, with this current her hermit energy, Absolutely. Okay. You are slowing down. You are taking a beat because you currently have a situation that has you feeling uh, stuck. So you have to take a beat. You have to take a step back from what is currently going on in your life. And I'm feeling like this current situation for you, Scorpio, is... Hmm. I'm not sure yet. I think I'm going to have to get clarification because I I feel like this could have something to do with family. But I want to get some more clarification, get some more guidance. So the five of cups and the ten of wands is showing up in your as your current energy, right? The five of cups and the the ten of wands is showing up in your current energy, Scorpio. So this is revealing to me. I am feeling... Hmm. There is there is that feeling of being stuck. There is that feeling of confusion you're having right now. You're somewhat disappointed in something. Uh, and it feels like you're disappointed in yourself, but then there is you're holding too much. You're bearing too much with this Ten of Wands in your current energy, Scorpio, okay? You uh there's something that is burdening your soul. Something that's weighing heavy on your soul and weighing heavy on your heart is what I'm feeling for you currently for this May 2024, Scorpio. Okay. And so I feel like this is where the challenge to ask for help is coming in with the Emperor card. This is a time for you to seek, seek guidance and that... Your current energy is in the hermit energy. Seeking guidance from within is absolutely the way you should go, Scorpio. Okay, this is the way you should go. You should seek guidance from your angels, ancestors, spirit guides um, during this process that is causing some disappointment for you. Uh, something that is weighing very heavy. Because if you don't, you're you're not going to be able to move on. So you're, this is not a time to seek outside advice or guidance or, you know, information. This is a time for you to go within. Okay, Scorpio, go within and seek the answers from your soul's wisdom, from your higher self, from your highest consciousness. Because if you if you are not able to go within and get guidance from within, Scorpio, what I'm feeling for you is you won't be able to move on. Spirit wants to help you to move on to the next place, right? That's what that's what your challenge is. Um, because you're not asking your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides for this help going in for the help because the five of wands is showing up as well clarifying this six of swords for you scorpio so what i'm feeling with this is there there is that internal conflict there's that internal conflict that you're feeling there is that ten of wands burden that you're feeling that's showing up with this five of wands okay clarifying the six of swords because this is a time to move on and the only way you can move on is if you go within for the guidance and advice that will truly help you to move on from this current feeling I definitely feel like this is a family situation where you're not able to come to an agreement or of some sort with a family member Scorpio that's what it's feeling like. That's what's coming up for me. 
as I'm looking at your, your cards that have been placed before me. So here's a key moment. This is in your outcome. This is the key moment for you, Scorpio. Okay? It's here. We're going to discover the pivotal insights and the predictions that this Empress card reveals for you, Scorpio, for your mid-May 2024. So being that the Empress shows up in your outcome, Scorpio, which is absolutely beautiful. This this means this is a great outcome for you, right? This is a this is showing me that you will be able to express yourself clearly, definitively with this family member is what I'm feeling. You're going to, because you take the time to go within, you're going to follow the advice of your intuition. You're going to follow the advice of your soul's wisdom in how to approach this, this undesirable situation with your family member, right? That is what we're getting. That is what I'm receiving and feeling with this Empress card as your outcome because the Ace of Wands is also here showing up for you. Okay, Scorpio, this is this is that new opportunity for growth between you and your family member, right? This is the opportunity for growth to begin to repair this relationship that has, you know, kind of gotten off track is what I'm feeling. This is the opportunity for you to learn and grow from this situation. So this is an amazing outcome for you. And then here we have the five of coins um, clarifying this ace of wands. So I feel like that worry will be dropped. That conflict, that internal burden will fall away for you in the end when you go through this process this mid-May, right? When you take the time to actually sit and meditate on your soul's wisdom, sit with your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides and ask them to give you clarity, to give you the mental fortitude to have a breakthrough with this family member so that the conflict is over, so that the conflict is over and you have a new starting point with this family member, right? There is this, this is a new beginning. This is a new opportunity. This is potential for growth, um, not only for you, but for this family member that you are having the conflict and the instability with at this time it's it, this is ending when you do the work that's what i'm feeling scorpio you absolutely will get through this you will overcome this okay that's what i am definitely feeling for you i want to grab um an oracle this is the spirit animal oracle and i want to wrap this up so we can understand the main points and messages that Spirit has delivered us from this reading to help you grasp the overall guidance provided by the tarot cards. And I will, as I do, do as I do this shuffling, trying to feel where I'm stopping or if something's going to jump out, the, we're going to get this Oracle card as advice from Spirit for you, Scorpio. Spirit, what is the advice? For our dear Scorpio, clear out the clutter. Frog spirit, clear out the clutter, Scorpio. Absolutely. This is timely in the progression of what is happening next for you for mid-May. Clear out the clutter. This we're ending the we're ending the conflict. The internal conflict is ending. The external conflict with the family member, this disagreement you have is ending because you're going to clear out the clutter when you with this hermit card, with the emperor and the empress showing up in your reading. This is a very powerful reading for you, Scorpio, and it's something that can absolutely be yours for the taking when you intentionally sit with your angels, ancestors, spirit guides, and listen to your soul's wisdom to advise you on the path to move forward so that you can communicate with this family member that, that you've been having this disagree with, disagreement with for a little while now, it feels like, and you and you two will come to an understanding. You will grow from this. Both of you will grow from this, right? Just new, the newness of it all. There's a transformation in your relationship with this family member. 
excuse me, the disagreements are ending. Everything is transforming for you. And that that's what I feel for you, Scorpio. All right. If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe on the channel for more tarot insights and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much, Scorpio. I will see you soon. Until then, take care.